What is going on, you guys? My name is Cornchip, and welcome back to the Sun God's Wrath. Just finished one of the chapters, and this is the finishing dialogue, so let's just get right into it. Grandma, thank you for coming to our aid in this battle. Will you continue to offer us your support from now on? Of course! I'll help lead us all to victory. With two magic dancers on our side, we'll be all the stronger. Right, let's show them what our family is made of. I say as I don't use Nicole ever. Our first major victory in the war, and with it, the most crucial of them all. At last, some time to rest. To come all the way from Merv is quite the trip. Astria, thank you and Propater for coming all this way. We'll still have some stragglers to deal with, but for the foreseeable future, Ryu should now be free. Let us rest well tonight, friends. We've earned this respite. Well, here's a face I didn't expect to see anytime soon. I think she might be from Corrupt Theocracy. It's just Sandy, right? Or did she die? I got a war wolf, maybe find out. Mother, you're safe and sound. You must have had quite the adventure getting here, Catherine. I don't see Nia anywhere, though. Nia was captured and taken away by Kuroth of the Hellhounds. I have no idea what happened to her after that. She could be a slave, dead, or have escaped just fine. However, I think she may still be alive. I visited Alistair's grave. The dragon bane was gone. Well, you're both my resourceful little girls, so I know she'll be fine. And since you're finally here in Ryu, you can meet your cousins, Kenton and Sakura. Me? You've never even met them? Shark and Carrie's children? We haven't been formally introduced, I guess. I've always looked forward to meeting you and your sister as fellow swordsmen. I'm saddened that your sister is not here, but I hope that we may be able to spar. You learned from the sword saint himself, I would imagine. Yes, I grew up with many great teachers here in Ryu. The sword saint taught me the skills to fight, and when he passed, my mother and father took over. And from Barry, I learned how to properly train my body. I only learned how to fight from my mother and father, so you were quite lucky. I wish I could have learned to train my body with grandfather as you have. As descendants of Alistair, we have the right to use the dragon bane. Training our sword arms is a, like a rite of passage for us. Indeed, additionally, I got to study magic firsthand with the Queen of Ryu. So mother, will you be joining us in battle then? I'm sorry, but I can't leave here just yet. Your grandpa is still sick. I see. When he is better, maybe he will join us then. Drop a name, though. I can't remember her name. I'm pretty sure she's in Corrupt Theocracy. Are you getting a crit? That's definitely a crit. Yo, that Regal's in the small crit club, even though that was just staged anyway. Dang, go off, green team. Oh, well. Alright. Curse you, Flora. Why will you not join us once again? With you on our side, we would obliterate the sirens here. I have no interest in fighting for the Republic ever again. I am free here, able to create my own destiny before me. The only place the Republic and I will join again is hell itself. Why don't you take this opportunity to run away, Nail? You're barely half the warrior your father was, and he fell before me like all the others. Talk is cheap, Flora. Just you wait and see. Flora, I hope you- That wasn't him, was it? No, it would have said Nail. Hey, who's Ryan again? That's Ryan. With Regal on the front today, things are going much better than normal. Losing Mech was too big a blow for the Republic. Syra may be able to fight off the army here by ourselves. We may not even need Bremenman's ultimate spell. Don't get cocky, that's when you lose. Even though it's going pretty well right now. Oh, except for that attack. And that. Oh, that was Helen, that's why. Dullahan had to retreat, and Volvo and Fox went to greet his majesty. As much as I don't want to admit it, you, Nail, and I are no match here. Regal and Ryan are the better magic users, and Flora is the better flyer. If they manage to break our formation, then we'll lose hold of the front. At that point, even His Majesty's appearance would not help us gain control. I have not been to the front in a while as I was preparing the defense seal, but now that I am back, I am reminded how poor the Republic's mages are. It's no wonder they can't fight us here. Desert battles are our specialty. Having the son of Bramaman fighting with us is also sure to help raise morale, and in turn, lower the morale of the Republic as well. <laughs> I only wish Leo were here and not wasting time on his adventure. And the same can be said of Evan. He doesn't place enough trust in Bramamond. 
Leo is Bremen's successor now. I'm sure he is fully aware of what he's doing. For now, let us focus on the battle here. If we continue at this pace, we'll manage to finish off Carbos and Helen today. Yes, we should be able to finish them off in Uh-oh, he's gonna die? Or snow? In the desert? How do they overcome Jetta's greatest magic? They actually stopped the sandstorms? This can't be pirates doing. There hasn't been a large enough release of mana. Could there be a mage in their army more powerful than Jetta? Is this Pyron? It is. Good day to you, my friends. Your Majesty, you arrived so much sooner than we expected. Just in time, it seems. Tell me, why are we incurring such losses? Bramaman's son, Regal, has rejoined the battle and is proving quite competent. He originally was the one who kept General Mac at bay. However, when Mac died, Regal left and only returned to battle a few days ago. When he showed up yesterday, he almost killed Dullahan. Which is why Nail didn't come to greet me and Dullahan was there instead. Regal. Mac told me he was a very interesting opponent. I would like to fight Torrid as well. He was once worthy of being a general. Though he betrayed us, I must admire his willpower to follow his own path. Should we head to battle, Pyron? Yes, my friend. If we run into Regal or Torrid, let me fight them, please. As you wish. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but do not expect us to be so kind. If we can kill anyone here, we'll take that chance. Also, there are other very strong mages out there. One is Ryan. He is my father's brother, and is much stronger than him. You just, why didn't you just say your uncle? The other is Flora. She once served Eli and fought in the World War. Interesting. I will have my fill of strong warriors today. Oh no, it froze. Uh-oh. That was a big lag spike. Hold it right there, Pyron. Prepare to die where you stand. Oh, poor old man's gonna die. Oh, a challenge from someone so unworthy already. Your name, Druid? Not needed information for a walking dead man. I mean, I hope I'm wrong. I was right. I was absolutely right. Is that Pyron? Shit, things are about to get much worse. That thunderbolt was a bit too bright for my tastes. Gil, would you please take care of that annoyance? I would be happy to. Hey, you can't move that much in one turn. Maybe he has Gale Force. That's probably it. Halt, God of the Sun. Another challenger. I would have your name, warrior. I am Regal, son of Bramament. In his place, I will strike you down here and now. Yes, I was looking forward to fighting you, son of Bramament. None of the three heroes could ever match me in combat. Perhaps Bramament's progeny will have at last grown enough to break the mold. We're about to find out. This tome I wield is the one I used to fight Mac. I have been refining it since my battles with him. It is a gamble I must make, but I hope it will pierce your defenses. I admire your courage. Have at you. Come, show me what you are made of. Oh, why can't we see Pyron's, like, cool head, though? Alright, you did damage, but now you're probably gonna die. Well, unfortunate. Regal! Shit, you dastard. I'll get you for that one. <laughs> is that idiot serious? She has no clue how open she is right now. Time for divine judgment, old friend. Uh-oh. I'm assuming Flora was someone in Corrupt Theocracy as well, but I really don't remember. Her sprite doesn't look familiar to me. A marvelous display of stupidity on your part, Fio er, Flora. Ugh. This is where you meet your end. Father, at this moment, I avenge your death. Ugh, damn it. Well, that's quite unfortunate. That fell apart real quick. Regal and Flora are dead? This is bad. Very bad. Looks like you will not be able to fight that strong mage over there, Pyron. It is indeed regrettable. But there is still this Ryan fellow, yes? And even beyond him are Bramaman and Torrid. Torrid! Good opponents still await us. Man, I'm falling apart at reading. So you're Pyron- You're Gil! How the hell are you still alive? Okay, I thought Gil was the, like, main evil guy from the- from Corrupt Theocracy. Seems I've stolen some of your thunder, my friend. Indeed. An old friend of yours from the World War? I don't recognize him. I was there supporting Kraft when he killed you. I don't remember Orion either. I saw him cut off your head. What sort of dragon, let alone mage, would I be if I let such a wound kill me? People do not always die when they are killed. Hmm... memes anti-memes. The world is just unfair like that for the more 
uh, talented individuals out there. Resurrection is a magic well within my power, much like the snow. All of Ryu was not your ally at the end of that war. Speaking, or sneaking my body out was no challenge. Then why do you work with Pyrin when he tried to steal his power in the last war? I had given up hope on him being revived and thought to use his power, like how the heroes used Nagas in the past. Ohana and Zypher had their own plans they did not wish to tell me. Like how the heroes used Naga's power? Who and what are you talking about? <laughs> As expected of Bramwin's well-groomed sheep. He did teach Ohana well in that respect. Trust is so hard to come by. It is most understandable. I too am making use of Brody's army for such reasons. He is nothing more than a pawn I used to weed out the weaklings at Earth. So far, he's only given me two good results though. I do love my children dearly because of that. Ryan, please let me get you to safety. Let me handle the situation. So you were Ryan. Your aura is much stronger than Lewis's. Oh, I remember Ryan now. I lied. He had, um... I don't even remember the green-haired mage's sprite, like from the actual Fire Emblem games. Or the official ones, I should say. I did not really make the connection. No, you will not escape. We will have our duel. Damn it, step back! Oh, you're dead, huh? Oh, you're not getting doubled? Maybe Gil will kill you. Gah. Oh, you survived! Not since Garrison has anyone taken more than one blow from me. Ryan, ugh, take this! No, she's dead. Oh, no, she survived as well. Another survivor, eh? Ugh, Ryan. I was never able to kill Kraft, but if possible, I'd like to deal this man the fatal blow, Pyron. Very well, this man's death will mark Cyrus' defeat in this battle. And then, Bramimund will finally be next. No, I won't die just yet. My ultimate spell! Now is not the time to worry about the cost or the result. If it can give me any shot at victory, I'll take it now. A search of magical power? God, imagine if you just, like, killed him right now. Game over. Oh wait, it's gonna leave him with 1 HP. And then maybe kill Ryan in the process or something weird? That was space magic! Incredible! Just where did you learn such a spell? I'll capture him alive, Pyron. There could be more like him. No, I won't let you take Ryan away. <laughs> That's our way, Pyron. And she's dead. The sandstorms are starting up again. My spell is worn off. We will wait one more week. At that time, I will end these sandstorms. Ryan, user of space magic, I will not forget your name. I still really like Pyron. Like, I think he's a cool villain. Gil, not so much. He can die for all I care, but... Chapter 14 of Father's Rage. I don't know how far I'm going to get into this chapter, since that was actually a lot of dialogue. <laughs> like, we're already 13 minutes in. To lose Flora and Regal in one battle. I did not predict Pyron to strike in such a manner yet. And with Ryan in the state that he is right now, what can we do? They were all our best fighters and generals. At this point, it's obvious Propiter will not be sending us any help. Elliot has finally started his rebellion in the Republic, but he will not come to our aid yet. I served his family long ago, and if there is one thing I know about him, it's that he will prioritize his family and people. What do you suggest that we do then, Torrid? Jenna was never able to find Nina, and I don't think the seal's in place. Oh, I don't think the seal's in place here will stop Pyron and Gil. There's no point in giving up before... Is that the person on the left talking, or someone off-screen? Anyway, there's no point in giving up before we even try to stop them. It was someone off-screen. Father, you're okay. Ryan, I'm glad to see that you are okay, but we haven't much to discuss. Space magic. Where did you learn such a rare thing? If you're going to ask me how to weaponize such magic, I refuse to answer. This tome I made comes with too huge a cost to use. I should be dead right now. I used part of my soul to make this. The amount of magical energy needed to make more of them isn't something we'll be able to easily get without making countless sacrifices. I can't even guarantee we have enough strong mages left at the end. I see. I can only guess at all the theories put into making that tome, but given how weak you are now, we certainly don't have the mages to produce and use enough of them to fight Pyron, let alone the rest of his generals. The last of my magic is about to fade soon. I only have enough to watch Ryu's last battle, send a message, and cast my final spell. If Ryu loses, there's nothing more I can do. Clea? You and Torrid will bring them through the desert when I give the signal. 
Understood, Bremen. I fully accept this mission placed before me. I may be much weaker now, but my skills with magic are unchanged. When the time comes, I'll be ready to fight in the Republic, or here. Very well. Let us hope Ryu can withstand Malik's wrath. Lots of dialogue. Here we go. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Chapter 14. I think I'm officially halfway now. <laughs> At Part 45, I think. Oh, here we go. Chapter 14 marks the end of the second part of the story. This chapter is a tough one. No, don't tell me that. I don't want a tough chapter. You have to win the war with Ryu at last. Defeat the enemy commander in the time limit to win. What's my time limit? In this chapter, you get a game over when Astro or Daedalus die. But because of the time limit, there is no fast reward. Sweet, I think? There's also no slow reward. I just have a time limit. The evacuation of the temple has begun as planned. I will leave to finish escorting the rest soon. Are the forces that we are leaving you going to be enough? Malik is on his way back, that much is for certain. The war in Ryu will not end until he is defeated. Malik isn't as good a tactician as his wife was, but he is still quite skilled. Today will be the day I prove what I've learned and surpass a foe like him. Indeed, but we shouldn't let him analyze the castle town for too long. Such tactics are his specialty, and he may come up with a plan to surround us. Who's this? Prince Daedalus, we just got the report. Malik is about to arrive. The traps we laid in place in front of the fortress did a good number on his troops. We estimate that we routed about a third of his forces doing so. He must not be thinking as clearly as he normally would. The spike of pitfall traps would have normally only gotten a tenth of his army at best. If he is in a rage since he knows we killed his son, that may be something to our advantage. Ryu will finally be free if we stop him here. Are you ready? Of course! This is our final battle in Ryu, everyone. Let this land be ours once again. Lord Malik, you need to calm down if we want to win this bat. You hit me! You will shut your mouth, novice. I'm the one in charge here. The people here are nothing but trash. We should have ended this war in less than a year and joined with Ronald and Merv. However, the Republic never gave us any support or sent a general. They falsely acted under the guise that the dragons would be all-powerful. We expected to run into a force like Rhodes, and yet we've only fought a small number of soldiers as strong as the Green Army. We were left with nothing, and the reason for that is that the Republic wants the people here to die. The Republic wants the people here to die? That's crazy! What do they gain by killing the people here? The people here are genetically inferior to others in our armies. <laughs> Eofi? I would expect you to know that. But hey, if you want to save the people here, then fight your hardest and kill as many Ryu soldiers as you can. The faster we kill all of them, the more of us will live. This is insane. How could you keep something so important from us? You can't expect everyone to continue to fight after that, can you? Is that the sounds of rebellion I hear? You are... ridiculous. You see, this is what happens when people disobey me. As I try to avenge my son, now, go die for me. Kill as many of these worms as you can without fail. Iofi! Curse you, Malik. If only... Hey, Aaron, it's like he said. No more sounds of rebellion. Just get out there and fight as you see fit. Okay, god dang, I'm already at 18 minutes. Uh, as usual, here I'm gonna cut to when I've picked out my team and all that. Okay, I think I'm just gonna do one turn of this, but ready to go. I have to bring Astrion Daedalus, and then I have Derek, Dex, Catherine, Evan, Condor, Charles, Jenna, Raylina, blah 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 blah. I don't have Janet and Lex because they're fatigued, which really is unfortunate about Lex when I'm entering a very hard chapter and I don't have him. But yeah, that's basically everybody else I really like. I mean, also, I like Germano and Jerome. And then I think Sakura and Kenton are cool and Muriel's cool. Yeah, yeah, I like a lot of people, but I'm still pretty happy that I can bring all of these people. So I guess I'm just ready to go. Also, I'm kind of bummed I did Astria and Derek support because I kind of want to do Astria and Daedalus, but then I'm going to be locked out of an ace port, with Astria at least, so... Also, I didn't look ahead of time, or plan ahead of time, how to proceed here, so... We'll see how things go. I guess for now I can start using Artemis to... First off, actually, we have a new support for them. Artemis, you're exposing yourself on the front lines too much. I could say the same to you, as Dark Mages of the highest caliber, 
We can create shields that help reduce the attack power of our foes. We are magic users that are meant to fight on the front lines. Am I supposed to take it that you are actually worried about me instead? Yes, I am worried about you. It's dangerous to fight as you do. You are both a spy and fighter. If you died, it would greatly hurt our forces. Oh, I didn't expect you to respond with such bluntness. Maybe I should spend more time around you to show you how human I can be. Well, it's not like I'd be against that. It's not like I like you or anything. Can you guys get your next port? Nope. You can't even support Joanne yet, Derek? What the heck? Yeah, Joanne doesn't have any sports I really want to do yet. It's all her family, but she has some more locked ones for units I obviously don't have yet, so... Oh man, there are so many different things to pay attention to. This guy's all alone, but he can heal people. Or divine people. My people. Someone with a thunder sword? Man. See, all the people in here can't really do much. So, like, I guess it's okay to move him forward. I also finally got him his iron axe he needs. I don't know why my voice was like that. God, nobody can do anything. Raylena can, but, like, at what cost? <laughs> I mean, he has less than half a chance to hit you. Oh, also, we got that magic ring or whatever, energy ring that boosts strength. I gave that to Catherine, even though she's already amazing. Why not make her more amazing? And then I gave the... Uh... I gave the... What's it called? The goddess icon to... Dex, just because she had low luck. I didn't really know who else to give it to. I'm sure there were plenty of better choices, but you should know I don't make good choices. You should know by now, I mean, that I don't make good choices. Okay, this is unfortunate. Decided to give her stronger magic since she can't seem to do much damage to anyone ever. I should have given her L fire because it would hurt the mounted units, but... Oh well. Didn't even get the low crits. Bummer. And I'm kind of sad she can't use any magic, like, because if I run out of the Firestone, she can't do anything. Is it worth using your Eclipse? I doubt it, but we can check. No. Zoinks, what do I do? What are these? They both got swords. So I can just stick you over here with your lance, and I think... That'd be fine? She has fire, so I could use her, but then she's also just kind of sitting there, which is pretty dangerous. Ooh, yeah, double this person. Get that damage. Live your life. Whoops. Ulysses with the level? Is this level 15? It is. I hope you get, like, an OP skill, please. I don't know what that is. Might be a healing skill. I'm probably wrong. That's pretty awesome, though. I don't know what your skill is, though. You probably won't activate that very much, if at all. So all the people down here are, well, Axe and Lance, but Raylena has no business trying to do that right. Oh, but this is also an axe. Shoot. She really needs an axe reaver. Can try this and hope the 47 doesn't hit her. And she crit! Whoa! Okay, so these two should go after Charles. Ooh, that was close. Oh, he doesn't have an axe out anyway. It would have been fine. So two of these people are moving, this guy isn't, for some reason. I'm assuming I can't... I can get these spears. Interesting. Let's keep that in mind. 
Oh shoot, I didn't see this person. That's not good for Charles. Man, can you also hit Charles? No. Okay. Where should I send Astrid at? Down here? Whoops. Or sorry, I don't have to send Astria anywhere, but... I'm wondering who I should dance. That's what I'm trying to figure out. I could just dance you and send you to do more chest looting. Why is the background ocean? Oh, because it's a deck. That's why. Who do I give that to? Joanne? I don't know why I said that so weird. Joanne? Huh. Who hasn't- oh, really? Yeah, the, um... Go over here and then rally, just in case. Oh, I didn't look at the bosses, too. I did on my own time, but not once I started recording. Oh, crap. Well, I might have to restart anyway. No, she's fine. I hope. Charles might not be fine, actually, anyway, so... Oh, yeah, and Jenna was, uh, not fine. Well, alright. There's my first mistake. And I will be restarting. <laughs> oh boy, how many times will I have to restart this? I didn't even get through one turn. That's embarrassing. Not really. You should all know how bad I am by now. Oh yeah, and he still has a clip sod, which is stupid, but whatever. I just want to see how the dark spikes do. Hurry up. I don't care about this Ryu green unit that just died. Alright, let's see how much of this did. Half-ish. A little less, I think. Okay, well, I'm just going to talk while the green people are going, because I am restarting anyway, so whatever. But that's going to be next episode. So anyway, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. You've made it this far. I'm assuming you enjoyed the episode, so consider leaving a like and subscribing to join the Small Crit Club. And I will see you all next time. Bye!